Hi, I'm Kit Cassingham with Live in Focused Energy. In my recent article called Control Freak, I explored the ways control freaks do control themselves and others, especially others, and they try to control things way outside their abilities and um, opportunities. The number of responses I got, both on the article and privately, surprised me. Um, people express gratitude for my expressing things, especially, especially as vulnerably as I did. But they also commented on how they saw themselves in some of the scenarios that I painted in the article, saying things like, wow, I had no idea the number of ways I was controlling and how it affected the situation or others or even myself. And, and I was intrigued. One person even said, so where are the directions on how to change this? Maybe that'll be another article another time. Though I will say the quick and simple answer is it's mindset. It's letting go of, of, of um, your expectations of, of that need to control. And I know that sounds very simplistic. It's not necessarily easy, but it is a matter of changing your mind and just letting go. Go with the flow, as they have said before. One of the thoughts I had after I published the article, though, was that I kind of expected people to say, no, standards are important and we need to control them. I totally agree. Our standards are important. And you have to draw the line between your standards and your control. You set your standards for your behavior. You can control that. And you can set boundaries, which is part of control, I think, so that you can manage how others treat you. It's not exactly controlling them, but controlling your response to them and not letting them impact you against the, cross your boundaries, I guess is what I'm saying. But the other boundaries or standards you set are for projects, for things you're doing. And, and that gets a little trickier because you set the standards and you do your best to meet them. But you have to, again, draw lines between what's acceptable and how you treat people, how you encourage people to rise to the standards. Don't lower your standards as a, a, a way of letting go of being a control freak. That doesn't do you or anybody any good. Urge people guide people, influence, persuade people to rise to the project standards, to your standards. If it's you're the boss and others are working for you, you have control of how that works out regarding the project. You have to be careful how you treat others. But if it's how you treat others as far as, as your standards and control all you can really do is say, these are my standards, these are my boundaries, take it or leave it, and then drop it. Get a life. It's all interesting. It's interwoven. So I'm going to challenge you to keep your standards up and drop your control issues, your control freak. Find out what's behind it and then let it go. I'm Kit Cassingham with Live and Focused Energy. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.